Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to look at the energies of this coming week. What's the general vibe of the week uh, as we start our week off? Uh, some of us are a little bit concerned. Others are, um, you know, keeping a calm and level uh, head. Uh, and of course, we're looking to our leaders and we're also looking to each other. Uh, and uh, uppermost in our mind is... Um, how we should be acting and reacting uh, in this in the current times? Um, are we? And I guess it's a question: um, What are we noticing? Are we noticing kindness and consideration, or we, are we noticing something else? This really is an opportunity this week to reset our, um, I guess, our attitudes um, and behaviours and to kick it up a notch. Um, so uh, let's start the energy reading for this week. What are the Dominant energies this week for us, spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? What can help us uh, this week? What's the general energetic vibration of this week? We can cut through all the noise and all the headlines. What is the energetic vibration of the week? What's important for us to know? Okay, I think I think what I said then was quite key. What is important for us to know? Okay, the turtle energy, the instinct, um, using your instincts. There, the, I'm glad I drew this card because there's a little story about these little crabs in Australia where they are born outside of the ocean, the eggs um, number in the millions, and they have to make their way back to the sea. Sometimes that's a little bit perilous. Sometimes they've got to cross roads. Sometimes they've got to cross beaches and fight off predators. But guess what? They make it back, or enough of them make it back to the ocean. Um, so I do feel, uh, and, and of course, that's how the life cycle goes on. So using your instincts to negotiate and traverse Whatever terrain you're walking at the moment, draw on that instinct. Um, and instinct, intuition, um, it, is a, it is so much more powerful when you use that, uh, you activate that heart chakra. Um, the seahorse family, okay, so discovering um, or rediscovering what's really important. So this week, um, you know, as we uh, negotiate, as we traverse, um, terrain that we may not have been in before, it is an opportunity for us to look at what is really important. Um, all right, and we've got boundaries, of course, putting those boundaries up. Uh, boundaries in this sense are healthy. Boundaries are in, you know, really reining yourself into what is actually important in your life. Um, to create what is on the bottom of the deck is harmony. To create harmony, health and healing in your life. These are three things that you can draw on using your instincts or intuition to travel or traverse or move uh, to whatever your destination is. Now, I'm not talking about physical destinations. I'm talking about um, just negotiating uh, your fear, perhaps negotiating your motivation, negotiating um, what you need to bring forward to have the insights that you need to uh, stay healthy and well. Um, and also, uh, what do you think is needed at the moment? Because each and every individual decision that we make in these sort of times is going to be critically important. What are the decisions you're going to make? Use your intuition. Family, discovering what really is important, the seahorse, um, you know, loved ones, your family and your friends. That's where our focus is going to be. Uh, using our instincts on our loved ones um, and creating boundaries. Um, these are healthy boundaries. You know, if you are fearful of what's going on in the world, turn off the television. Make your, or the television, your social media, make your decisions. Watch how you're going to go from A to B here, how you're going to get from from now until whenever conditions start to settle uh, in the world uh, and go about them with confidence um, because this is what you're aiming for. In the midst of chaos, you're aiming to create harmony. 
So that's the Oracle of the Saltwater Reading Cards um, by Laura Bowen. She is a Birupai and Waramai woman from the Manning River area of New South Wales. I have only just got these cards and I absolutely love them. So let's uh, now look at our... Uh, Celtic Tarot and we'll have a look at what are the dominant energies this week. You don't have to live in fear is what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing. Um, you know, and again I go back to raising your energetic vibration because everything is energy. So um, <laughs> I did a, a little bit of a channel this morning um, and I got very uh, strongly the concept of um, where we had been uh, abusing in certain um, areas, abusing our uh, relationship with the earth, abusing, um, you know, not valuing, not respecting even the foods that we were consuming or the animals that we were consuming. What is the opposite of abuse? Uh, uh, the opposite of abuse is nurturing. The opposite of, of, of abuse is loving care. So if you bring those two things to mind this week, I think that's going to be helpful for you in a lot of ways and in lifting your vibration. So show me the energies of this week's spirit. What is the dominant energies here? What are the vibes? What is the most important information to bring forward for uh, these viewers? Spirit, thank you. In gratitude, I'm always in gratitude when I read. Um, the King of Cups. What what a beautiful card to bring forward. Uh, and I'm just noticing all the fairy lights around this King of Cups. Um, it, this King of Cups stands in the light. He is love. He is nurturing care. Uh, and this is the energy that we are starting to manifest. Uh, this King of Cups is coming through my readings. We are moving out of a darkness uh, where a leader may try and buy a cure-all to keep it within uh, a country and you know what I'm referring to we're moving out to out of that energy and into this king of cups energy we're in the process process due to the challenging conditions of our time of rejecting of deciding what we don't want and bringing forward what we do want beautiful the sun card uh, okay so this again is shining a light shining a light this week will be no different I think to any other week that we've had recently it is shining a light on what is lacking and shining a light on what we need to start manifesting we're um we're, we're smart people the human race is smart it knows how it needs to uh survive um and it looks like at this uh time in our uh, human, the history of humanity, that we have been, um, we've had a good hard look at what, at what are the results, what's the harvest of rank materialism, of um, division, disunity, um, and selfish agendas. We've had a good look at that, uh, and we're choosing something else because the light is shining very, very strongly on what we don't want at the moment and putting it instead on what we do want. We're starting to manifest this week or at the moment. This this is a bit of a timeless uh, reading. We're starting to manifest our futures right here, right now with this High Priestess. And we are. What are we manifesting? We're manifesting new uh, starts. But it's a new start with clarity. It's a new start with ob objectivity. Um, I know some of you are saying I can't, just can't wait till that time occurs. Uh, you do have to be patient uh, because when we manifest something as strongly as this, which ultimately is a chance at uh, a chance to be happy, a chance to uh, not be so um, uh, in mired in the down in the weeds, down in negativity, uh, down in um, uh, base kind of m emotions um, where we see things that we we never thought we we would see, but we're seeing, uh, and behaviours that are uh, contrary, run contrary to the the spirit of um, unity uh, and. Um, uh, universal care, I guess, when we start to see those behaviours, we start to reject them and we start to bring forward this. And so it is another week, as difficult as this week will be, when we start to uh, manifest this. Um, 
in abundance, I think. Um, so uh, let's keep going. We have the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help. I'm glad I used my Celtic deck because that's a beautiful card. This is helping children. This is having a heart. Um, again, sitting under the, the King of Cups. I'm getting a real draw to... Um, Really, this week is is so important in leadership uh, and in, cre in in creating the future. Look at the world underneath the sun, shining a light. What a hopeful reading. I, I shuffled this deck many times, but here is the message for this week. Have patience. Um, and this is the decisions are yours. The decision time is now because we're manifesting something quite extraordinary. Um, it is... On, uh, I don't want to mention what is going on in the world today, but you know what I mean. Uh, things are coming forward very quickly and it is speeding up these decisions that we're making. Um, even though we might not be able to see it now, the world will be different in, in 12 months as a result of what we've been through. We have to make these decisions. Um, more of us are going to be choosing truth, clarity, objectivity, uh, straight. Uh, we've got a saying here, I want you to be straight with me. That's what we're going to be expecting from here on in. I want you to be straight with me. Okay, we had the tower moment um, and structures are being eroded, torn down, uh, where they are not strong, where they are weak, um, where they need to be changed, where they need to be improved, they are being um, they are being torn down. This is what's on our minds this week at some kind of level, at a subconscious level. This is what the current conditions are forcing us to think about in great detail. Now, we on this channel may have been thinking about it for some time, but this is talking about on mass okay so the magician what we're actualizing something into reality we're actualizing a change um there will be a period of uh introspection there will be a period of isolation but look at this seven of swords this is underneath the lies um this high priestess is pretty uh she's pretty determined um she is manifesting something so in this major uh, I guess in this reading, I have very, very strong major arcanas, the, the high priestess and the magician, the male and the female. And in some way, in some way, there is going to be greater equality in the years uh, or in the, the 12 months from now. It's going to be as short as that. Um, there's going to be some kind of new equality here. It wouldn't surprise me if I were to see the Empress because we have the Two of Pentacles um, and this is under the Two of Swords. It is a, it is what we've had in the past has been quite precarious. We just haven't seen it. Conditions of the time have uh, showed us how precarious it is and we're manifesting, ultimately we're manifesting that new start um, based on clarity based on objectivity uh, underneath we we do have um, uh, what I would call an offer here the offer comes uh, through adversity through uh, seeing uh, witnessing adversity but we do have this beautiful ace of wands and look at the light shining in in that wand right underneath the magician here or right sitting over the magician Connecting with the sun card underneath the pack, the um, seven of swords. What's sitting over the seven of swords is the king of pentacles. So we are moving from that that era, from that energy, from that vibration over to the king of cups. And the page of pentacles, um, enough, <laughs> enough juggling, um, enough uncertainty. We actually want, ah, uh, there she is, the empress um, at the base of the pack. We want this, this kind of um, new growth. We want the harvest to come in. I'm going to put the ace of swords with the empress. And uh, ultimately, we will be doing some healing. Now, one of the most significant 
uh, I guess, energies that I'm, or vibrations that I'm tuning into, is the pace at which this is all unfolding. Um, it's almost as if uh, where everything's speeding up, we're, we're, we're living through such turbulent times that we are really solidifying once for all what we need to, uh, what we need to, to manifest this new start. So there are a lot of major arcanas in this spread underscoring the importance of uh, what the channel is bringing forward. Um, but we are manifesting. We are manifesting this more nurturing, caring energy. So the swimmer crabs, those little crabs that are born um, and they have to make their way to the water, sometimes over a perilous path, ultimately do reach the ocean and the life cycle continues so i feel um i feel that the quickening what i would call as a quickening of, of the process is the closing as i have said for months now the closing down of a cycle and the opening up of something new so um three final messages from spirit let's pull some more oracle cards here um Let's have a look at the wisdom of the oracle, the Colette, uh, Colette Baron Reed. Wisdom of the oracle. Let's pull some final um, three cards, three messages from spirit. Hmm. Serendipity is on the bottom of the pack. Some would say it's anything but um, serendipity that I'm experiencing at the moment. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know about your household. We are practicing social uh, social containment, but it is nevertheless quite a happy quite a happy household. We have everything that we love around us. Um, everybody is in good health, and I'm touching wood. <laughs> um, but we are we are okay, and I suspect you're okay as well. So. There is um, a need to manage our fear. There is a need to stay calm, and there is a need to see the the end game, the long the long shot, the um, the big picture, uh, the horizon. Uh, and we need to uh, keep our thoughts positive um, and firmly focused on what we want to manifest in the future. That's very important now. So, three final messages from spirit. Three final messages from spirit yeah i'm seeing the woods okay you know that old saying i can't see the tree the woods for the trees um i'm seeing a very heavily um a thick forest the trees are no more than a foot apart from each other there is it we're standing in a clear in a clearing we have to choose um there is no alternative path though there's no no uh fork in the road for us we have only one way to go now there is a path uh, that is has been cut through this thick forest and that is there for us to take all right, so we're on a journey of sorts. Show me three messages from spirit. Three messages from spirit. Mending. We're mending things. We're fixing things. These oracle cards often depict um, young young people. Um, number 52. 50, fives are all about change. Two uh, is all about partnership. What are we mending? We're mending disunity right now. We're mending disunity. Message in a bottle. Well, that's interesting uh, because I think that is um, really uh, what I would describe as what is occurring now as being a wake-up call. Again, the five. Five is all about change and the one is all about self. So <laughs> as much and all as this is a global um global conditions that we're currently uh, battling, this is also about mending the self. And the fates, this is lessons. Uh, again, look at the ones, um, one being the self, seven being spiritual les lessons as well. So um, what's the base of the pack between worlds? That's uh, number three, uh, and this is solutions, creative solutions, um, bringing forward creativity. We're art being asked to create once again, to mend something, to work on ourselves and to create something new. We are in the 
between part of that process or that journey. Uh, and I do feel the important thing is to stay calm, <laughs> to stay poised um, and not to panic. Uh, make your decisions about how you're going to travel on this journey over the next few months uh, and, and really implement them with confidence uh, because you're not powerless within this uh, situation. So um, keep vibing high. Uh, is what I would say. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for tuning in to the energy of the week. Um, and uh, I hope that that was helpful. Um, I think faith, hope, belief, <laughs> trust gets us through a lot. All right. Thank you for tuning in, viewers.